All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Rambling Old Man. So today, we're going to talk about open borders. You know, the uh, when you turn around and say, does anyone cross the border? When you turn around and put out your arms and you say illegal immigrants are welcome here. Oh, I'm sorry, undocumented worker. I always get that wrong. It must be because I'm old. See, I don't understand why people call them undocumented workers. The reason they're called illegal immigrants is the fact that they've crossed the border illegally to immigrate to another country. Hence, illegal immigrant. They broke the law by crossing the border illegally, illegally, to immigrate. Illegal immigrant. The Democrats down the states. This is actually one of the few videos where I can't look at it unbiasedly. I can't. People are like, it's a fundamental right for people to be able to immigrate. Yes, it is. As long as they meet the criteria, cross at legal border crossings, and either meet the criteria to immigrate to that country, or to apply for refugee status. And refugee status shouldn't be, I'm poor, here I am. Refugee status should be saved for people like, I'm running away because people are trying to kill off my entire race. Rwanda. The Jews of 1940s, 1930s, 1940s. They are trying to commit genocide on my people, and I need to escape. Or I am gay, and my country is executing gay people. Not, I'm poor. Let me in. That isn't grounds for refugee. If the Democrats do what they want, which is basically an open border policy, which is if you want to come to America, you can. Just cross that border. Cross that border and we'll, they'll give you everything. You know what's going to happen? The entire world is going to try and cross that border. All the poor people of South America, all the poor people of Africa, all the poor people in the Middle East. Basically, if they can get to America, they would. You'll end up tripling, quadrupling the population. You think you have a homeless problem now? You want Medicare for all? Try paying Medicare for a billion people. See how long we fall that bankrupt your country. And where's all the food going to come from? Because they won't be able to grow enough. And 
and where are all these people going to live? Most people can't afford a house down there now as it is. Everyone's complaining that student loans can't afford a house. Your arts degree is doing you real good, isn't it? So busy trying to do good that you don't see you doing bad. Granted, that's an extreme case. That is an extreme case. That is the case of the Democrats actually saying a total open border. I mean, that's what AOC wants because she wants to get rid of ICE. No border, no ICE. You get rid of that border, you get rid of ICE, you'll just have a rampage on that border. And it won't just be people, it'll be drugs. There will just be truckloads of drugs going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The cartels will get richer. Americans will get deader. Unemployment will be so high that people will just turn to drugs to numb it. I mean, here in Canada, we got the uh, border crossing in, I think it's one in Ontario and one in Montreal where people are just walking across the border. And the RCMP are helping them across with their bags. And some of the bags have tickets from where they got off the plane, like the day before in New York, took the bus up to the border. They're literally running buses to the border. Because Trudeau said, come one, come all. The UN, uh, what was it? The UN thing on migrants, whatever the hell it was, came out last year. Basically the one that said that being poor is a reason to be a refugee. You know that one that basically says... That basically tries to push the open border narrative. I mean, America was smart. America didn't sign it. I mean, Canada was stupid too. But it basically pushes for an open border narrative of if you're poor, come in and say, hey, I'm, I'm poor. I'm a refugee. I'm an economic refugee. Because that's how things are done now. If you can't make it in your country, you get to a country that's going to pay for you. It took me three years to immigrate to Canada through the paperwork and the paying of the fees and the more paperwork and the more fees and the more paperwork. I mean, if I'd known it was going to be this easy, I just would have waited a bit and just crossed the border and said, hey, I'm poor. I'm a refugee. That's, it. That's an extreme case. That's the case that uh, AOC and that get rid of ICE and the border. Which is one of the things on the Social Democrats' website. They want open borders. They want no ice. They want no prisons. They want no prisons. Little Charlie go down to the school there and does and done and does something. He shouldn't go to prison because there would be no prison under a social democrat government. That's essentially what they want. Because they think that if they get in power, they can make everybody think the same. But thank you for listening to my rant, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, this was the extreme case. This is the extreme case of if they do do an open border. I'll let them all in. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share me around like a French woman of the night. Have a good one.